Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Sumaya Uj from group 28. Here I will discuss about the call ladder. Let's see the content first. Here I will discuss its location, its storage, concentration, the parts of battery apparatus, which is the right, right and left hepatic artery, common bile duct, common hepatic duct, cystic duct, and call bladder, and finally its function. Let's start. The basic thing about the gallbladder. Gallbladder is a small green intraperitoneal section that lie in the fossa between the left and right hepatic lobe at the level of the right midrib. Did you say just green? Yes, it's green in color due to the bile that it stores. The gallbladder lie in the fossa between the right and left lobes of the liver to which it directly connected via the fibrous capsule. So here I will discuss about the three main part of gallbladder. Fundus of the gallbladder. The fundus is defined as the part of hollow organ that is farthest away from the opening. It can be found at the level of the ninth coastal cartilage and can be seen to slightly protrude form under the inferior of the liver, just superior of the transverse colon. The next is neck of the gallbladder. The neck of the gallbladder is bent in an S shape so it is able to join the cystic duct. Here the bile begins its journey from the gallbladder throughout a series of ducts to join with the contents of the pancreas and together work their magic on the digested stomach contents on the molecular level. The last one is body. The body of gallbladder which lies under the cover of the liver interiorly but it is also in con connect with transverse colon inferiorly and duodenum posteriorly. Here we discuss about biliary apparatus. First liver synthesizes bile but it not store it and goes through the common hepatic duct. Here common hepatic duct is present over here. So bile leaves the liver and it has to store somewhere. First place where it is stored called cystic duct. Here the cystic duct is present. This is the next place where we see bile flow after the common hepatic duct and enter into the blind pouch called gallbladder. This is the gallbladder and here this is the place where bile is stored. It comes in gallbladder. After some time it decides to leave. The hormone responsible for the bile which is released in the gallbladder is cholecystic kinin. It squeezes all the bile from gallbladder and go through the cystic duct then enter into the common bile duct which is the last part of bile tree. The common bile duct take the bile and finally deliver to the GI tract. The part where GI tract delivers bile is duodenum, which is the first part of GI tract. Here Judinum is present, then absorption occur. This is a very simple process if you understand. Now let's talk about how biliary apparatus work. First one is cystic duct. The cystic duct is opened and closed via a spiral value which is made by the mucosa that surround it in a spiral formation. Then a common hepatic duct. Here it is, a duct that carries bile from the liver into the common bile duct which conveys it into the duodenum, the upper part of intestine. Next, the common bile duct. The common bile duct is formed via the merge of cystic duct and common hepatic duct. It merges with the main pancreatic duct to form the hepatopancreatic ampulla which enters the second part of the duodenum where the major duodenal papillae are present 
As mentioned earlier, the common bile duct functions to drain bile from gallbladder here, the gallbladder to the duodenum here. Here we enter into the last part of our presentation. The last but not the least is the function of gallbladder. The first one is it is store and concentrate bile. In human, bile is produced continuously by the liver. It is stored and concentrated in the gallbladder. The composition of hepatic bile is 97 to 98%. Water has just 0.7%. Just it also includes fats like cholesterol, fatty acid, and lecithin. The second one is to respond to intestinal hormones such as cholecystic kinase to empty and refill its bile store. It stores the bile and release into the duodenum when required. It regulates pressure in pulmonary apparatus. So this is all about the function of gallbladder. Talking about the references, I took my material from two books and summarized into my own word. I hope you all like my work. Thank you.